Haribol, Namaste, Dandavat Pranams. So today I'm going to show you all the easiest way to find your major and minor chords. So as you would see in any type of keyboard, whether it's an organ, an accordion, uh, a piano, or a harmonium like this, the keyboard is always set up the same. It has black keys or black notes and white notes. On the black notes, you would find they are grouped in sets of two and three. Two, three, two, three. The first of the two black keys, the key to the left of that first black key, which is this, that is your C note. So if that is your C note, the next white note is your D note. And then the next is your E note. F, G, A, B, and back to C. So this is one, this is like your middle octave. And that's your higher octave, and that's a lower octave. But they're all the same. This is C, that is C, that is C. It's just on higher pitches. So let's go through that again quickly. The two black, the first of the black, the key to the left of that first black is always your C note. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. In the Indian classical method of playing, this is Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni, Sa. Sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa sa re ga ma pa da ni sa sa ni da pa ma ga re sa c d e f g a b c c b a g f e d c so we know that this is our C note. So now I'm going to show you how to find your C major chord. And as I've written here, you got to find your root note first, which we've just done. That's my C root note. And to find my major chords, the count is one, five, and eight, moving from left to right. So this is one. My root note is always one. And I'm gonna count for five. The key or the note to the right of this root note is that black key. If you look at the keyboard properly, you see the black key comes before this white key. So that's my next key to the right. So if that's one, then that's gonna be two. And that's gonna be three. And that's gonna be four. And that's my five, my fifth key. So if you look at the keyboard closely, you'll see that the black key comes before this white key. 
So that's one, two, three, four, five. And now I'm gonna find my eight. So that's five, six, seven, eight. And that is my C major. So it's very easy. It's one, five, eight. So my next, let's try to find D major. So D, I look for my D root note. If I know that C, so the next is D. So that's my D root note. And I'm now gonna count the same sequence, exactly the same thing, one, five, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is my D major. And so forth, your E, your F, your G, your A, and B. So, okay, let's find one more. Let's find E major. So that's my E note. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's my E major. So to play the keyboard, you need to know your major chords uh, very well. Um, like that's my A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. So those are my major scales. Oh, uh, sorry, my major chords. To find the minor chords, it's exactly the same method. It's just the sequence is one, four, eight. So it's almost the same as your major chords. It's just instead of the five, it's four. So the easiest, the easiest way you can do the counting as I showed you one. This is my C minor now. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is my C minor. Let's find my D minor. So I go to my D note which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's my D minor. An easier way I would recommend is find your major chords first. Uh, and to find your minor chords day after is very easy. It's just that your middle finger goes one to the left. Like, that's my C major chord. And one to the left, that would be my C minor chord. And the other two fingers would always remain the same because it's one and eight. That's my my that's my minor C minor and that's my C major C minor C major C minor C major Let's try D D minor D major D major D minor D major D minor Let's try E. E major, E minor, E major, E minor. 
That's how you find your major and minor chords. I hope you got that and uh, look out for more of my videos. Thank you very much. Haribo.